Okay. I would like to thank you all for coming out for this great occasion tonight. We're here for the occasion to promote Robert Tompkins to the position of the fire chief in the city of Groton. So with that, Clark Patrick. Robert Tompkins. <laughs> have been duly appointed as fire chief in the city of Groton Fire Department. You solemnly swear or affirm that you will faithfully discharge your duties according to the rules and regulations of the fire department, the state of Connecticut law, city of Groton charter and ordinances, and resolutions of the city of Groton. You will serve in that position to the very best of your ability, so help you God. I will. Congratulations. I will say I have a, a short speech, but I was presented uh, this, and I'll read it to you uh, right before I got here. Chief Tompkins, Groton Firefighters IAFF Local 1964 submits the following grievance pursuant to <laughs> Article 6 of the Collective Bargaining Agreement. So I'd like to thank the President, my brother, for that. <laughs> Let the games begin. <laughs> Mayor, council, colleagues, friends, and thank you very much. Um, the show supports overwhelming and humbling. I stand before you, reaching the pinnacle of my career, becoming the chief of the City of Groton Fire Department. I'm thankful for the mayor and the council and the confidence they've shown in me uh, to lead this department. I'd be negligent if I did not start by mentioning that making this climb is never a journey one takes alone. Many people have influenced my career from my first exposure to firefighting through Roger, my brother, and Roger Thayer, my brother-in-law, to the early officers that I worked with, Ellis Hartman, David Branch, Chief Hauser, who hired me, and of course, Chief D'Elia, who I worked with for 20 years. Truly everyone with whom I have worked has had an impact on the type of chief I will be. Whether the person be a superior or a new firefighter, they showed me by, wa by my watching some things that I will do and some things that I won't do. <laughs> I did not start my career with the desire to be chief. When Roger Thayer first asked me if I wanted to be a volunteer, and I just could not fathom who would want to get up in the middle of the cold, dark night <laughs> to go to a call. But, as is evident by this presentation and this promotion, that desire certainly grew over the years. I have always had a great love for the city of Groton. I was born here and raised here and chose to raise my family here. I grew to have a great love of firefighting and a deep respect for the members of this profession who dedicate their lives to keeping others safe. What also developed was not only my desire to make this department the best, but also my understanding on what was needed to do just that. What type of leadership, what decisions, what policies. Naturally, with any transition, comes opportunity. The opportunity to reevaluate, reshape, refocus, to take a good, honest look at what's working and what's not. This is the time for our department to zero in on what is important and to be sure 
All we do is direct it to that end. I could stand here and give specific details to what the future holds for this department, but in reality, it comes down to this. It is my goal as chief of this department to be sure we are doing all that we can to be responsible stewards of our service and to perform to the best of our ability so that the citizens of the city of Groton are well protected. The, great, the greatest asset of this department, as it always has been, is the firefighters who vigilantly watch over the city of Groton. Through their dedication and training, you can rest assured that you are in good hands. And I promise this today to the firefighters. It will be the number one priority of this department to make sure that you go home safe from every shift to your family and loved ones. In closing, I'd like to thank uh, God for bringing me to this point in my life. I'd like to thank uh, my mother, Agnes, who I'm sure would be proud and is looking down for always um, molding me into the man that I am. I'd like to thank my family, who, as we know in this service, gives up a lot to um, allow firefighters to do what they do. I'm sure you could ask each one of my children, they could tell you the birthday I missed or the Christmas I wasn't there or whatever that special occasion may be. Um, but they've always been supportive. Um, and of course, lastly, my best friend, Bonnie, who has always stood by me, cheered me on, helped me to write a speech, <laughs> <laughs> motivated me to do better and to strive. And for that, I'm truly grateful. I love you. Thank you all for coming today. Now it's official. <laughs> Do you want to direct? Uh, yeah, there's uh, cake and some uh, drinks in the auditorium. If you'd like to come out and partake. Yeah. So this concludes, this concludes the ceremony for the promotion of Chief Tompkins. So thank you all for coming out. And refreshments are in the auditorium. <laughs>